Okay, here they're asking us which list of numbers below is a set of irrational numbers only. Well, the set just means group of numbers, and here actually the answer is A. But let me tell you why I know that. Um, because even though in B this is irrational, one third and three fifths are simple fractions. So whenever you have one whole number, right, positive or negative whole number, over another positive or negative whole number, you have what's called a simple fraction. And simple fractions like one third can be written as 0 0.3 repeating. And that's a decimal with the pattern, even though it's going on forever, it's repeating. So that's a simple fraction. Three fifths, the other fraction in this group, can be written as 0 0.6. That decimal ends. So there's a simple fraction, gave us a decimal with a repeating pattern, or a decimal that terminates both which are rational. So these are rational numbers, not irrational, even though the middle one was, was irrational. So now we know whenever we see three-fifths, that's irrational. This can't have just irrational numbers in it. Right here, again, square root of 9 is 3, excuse me, because 3 times 3 is 9. Um, so here the only irrational number is the square root of 21 over 3. And here again we have a s equal to three, and but the rest of the numbers are irrational, so that's out. Now a is the answer. Let me talk about why the square root of five um, does not equal a whole number, right? It's between two and three, because two squared is is four, and the square root of four is less than the square root of five, and three squared is nine, and the square root of nine is bigger than the square root of five. It's between them, but it has no exact value. So whenever you're given, and I, and I have to think a little bit more about why this is true, but if I give you any whole number, like 5, and I say find the square root of it, and then you bef you find that the square root is between two whole numbers, you have an irrational number. And that's a pretty interesting fact. And uh, the square root of 21, same idea. 21 is a whole number. But the square root of it is it's between 4 and 5. Because 4 squared is 16, so the square root of 16 is lower than the square root of 21, and 5 squared is 25, and the square root of 25 is bigger than the square root of 21, so the square root of 21 has to be between there, some decimal, and when that happens, you take the square root of a whole number, you have an irrational number if that square root doesn't work out to be some exact value. So look out for those, and, and just be careful um, that when they are giving you a problem like this, that they don't mix in some rational numbers. They're looking for a set of irrational numbers only. Okay, I hope that helps.